Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And Lord, I pray they be your words, not my words. And I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I want to remind everybody that uh, yesterday, on Sunday, that we had five nations around the world, entire nations, that were without power. And we also had one million Americans that were without power as well. Back in about 2014, when I started with all my dreams and visions, I, uh, I said and I told people that the banks, the banks would be folding and they'd be closing and that we would lose power. It would start sporadically here and there in parts of the nation and that it would, would grow and grow and grow until the whole nation went dark. Uh, also, uh, I mentioned that uh, I help cool my home with a swamp cooler and if you're interested in, uh, and you'd like more information or like me to show you how I cool my home with a 12 volt solar panel, uh, let me know because I'm thinking about doing a video where I show people how to build a, uh, an at-home swamp cooler that you can build in your home. Uh, and in case you lose power, at, at least you'll have something to help, help cool you down. Uh, Bobby, will you read Habakkuk 2 verses 2 and 3? Yes. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the tables, and that he may run and readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end of it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And I will read Ezekiel 33, 1 through 9. And I was given a special emphasis on uh, verse 6. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast, and set him for their watchman. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet, and warn the people. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet, and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. And this is verse 6. But if the watchman see the sword come, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So thou, son of man, I have set thee a watchman upon the house of Israel, Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth, and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his ways, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I, re will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if you warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn away from his way, he shall surely die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered thy soul. So, until then, we will keep working for the Lord. Yes. And one day soon, one day soon, we the faithful, we go home. And we will work for the Lord right up to that last great trumpet blast calling us home. And I will place my full faith and trust in God. And even though I can hardly walk, I still walk for the Lord. Amen. And we have nothing else but God. As this world is crum crumbling and dec decaying and falling down around our ankles, all we have is God. Amen. And soon that will become very apparent. I just pray that we are not here to see and experience the horror to come, not the horror that I was shown. I weep for the lost. I have wept bitterly for the lost, like when my mother passed away. On many occasions, I had tears flowing down my face. My shirt was soppy wet from tears. My lap was full of tears. I choked, I gagged for air I, as I wept bitterly, and I thought I would pass out because I was shown what is to come and what the people must endure. Horror 
magnified by horror, indescribable, unimaginable, uncomprehendable. My mind could not take it all in. My mind could not accept what I saw, but there it was before me. That is what I saw coming in the tribulation. So no, we are not there yet. This is only the warm-up, the birth pains, to the coming apocalypse, the tribulation. What is coming will be an apocalypse beyond anything comprehensible. One cannot conceive or imagine the horror to come. This is only the warm-up. She has not even started to sing yet. If you miss the rapture, you will see the horror that I saw. And these were only dreams. But I saw it as if I were there. I am, I am ready to go home. Are you ready to go home? I have seen all the death and destruction that I want to see, and even more. So much more that I really, so much more than I really wanted to see. But God chose me. He showed me anyway. I guess God wanted me to be a witness to what is to come. I have seen so very much pain and suffering and horror. I do not really want or need to see any more. But thy will be done, Lord. Please, Lord, I am so tired. I just want to go home. I have cried so much. My heart breaks and there is nothing I can do. If I cannot do anything about it, then why did you show me so much horror, death, and destruction to come, Lord? Why me? I am nothing. I'm nobody. Just I just wanted to go to church, sing and pray, toss in some change in the offering plate, and go home and get ready for the next Sunday. But God saw me sitting there on that pew, and God chose me. It was God that called me watchman, as at first I did not want the job. But God would not accept my no answer. God had other plans for me, and I thought God almost killed me to wake me up. God will not accept an, a no answer, not if God calls you for a work. God did not accept Jonah's no answer, and Jonah ended up in Nineveh, and I ended up in my Nineveh as well. Now I say, send me, Lord. I'm just a humble watchman with dreams and visions of the end of days. And I want or I seek no fame, no fortune. All I seek is to be pleasing to God. And now I witness to you. Bobby, we read Amos 8, 11 and 12. Yes. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. God called me to send out as many King James Version Bibles as possible to everyone who asked for a Bible. And when my knees gave out, the Holy Spirit said he would send me people who would be my legs and pass out more King James Bibles before they were made illegal. And I want to I want to thank you for all of those that are out there that are passing out Bibles because we, we have almost a hundred people that have contacted us for, for Bibles and for books and CDs and DVDs. God bless you. And God bless each and every one of you oh, mightily for this work. As for the tribulation, that comes after the rapture, then all hell comes to the earth. But we, the faithful in Jesus Christ, who are washed in his blood and who are born again, we will not be here. I will read 1 Thessalonians 5 and 9. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bobby, we read Matthew 24 and 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, know not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. And 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Amen. It is not rocket science to get forgiveness of your sins. Remember the thief who hung on the cross beside Jesus? All he did was admit he was guilty and that he needed salvation. He needed a Savior to forgive him. He sincerely had repentant, a repentant heart, and he believed that Jesus was the Son of God. Amen. And what did Jesus tell him? Bobby, we read Luke 23, 41 and 43 to 43. And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Amen. 
Mm-hmm. Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Yes. That's what he told that guilty man. That he, he admitted that he was guilty, that he was a sinner in need of a Savior. And he recognized Jesus as God. And God forgave him of his sins right there on the spot. But for good measure, I would pray the blood of Jesus wash over you, wash all your sins away, wash you clean, and pray that Jesus enter your enter into your heart, give you a new heart, mm-hmm. and be with you and lead you and guide you and protect you all the days that you have left on this earth. Yeah. This man that hung on the tree beside Jesus, he never went to a church, he never heard a sermon, never supported any religious cause, never sang a hymn, never prayed before, but this man who hung on a tree beside Jesus, he was blessed, mm-hmm. and he was forgiven. So, you do not have to do any of these things, and you can still be saved as easily as the man who hung on the tree, who hung on that cross beside Jesus. Mm-hmm. But like that man on the cross beside Jesus, do not delay, as you do not know what hour is your last. And that death should overtake you, and then you will enter hell. We are all of that man on the cross beside Jesus. But will you admit that you're a sinner in need of a Savior? Will you believe and admit with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Will you place your life in the hands of Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. Or will you be that other man who hung on the cross beside Jesus and rejected the love and saving grace of Jesus Christ? One thing to consider. One of these men is in paradise even today. Still a young, still in a young glorified perfect body, And he will be there for an eternity, walking on streets of pure gold. And if you are in the will and grace of Jesus on that day, then one day you will meet that man who hung on on the cross beside Jesus, and who Jesus forgave his sins. Mm -hmm. And the other man, he's still there in hell today, in torment, with fire and brimstone. And one day you will meet one of these men, but which one is up to you? The man in hell is still there today and he will be there in torment for eternity and you will not want to meet that man because if you do that means that you went to hell but that choice is yours like it was for the two men who were crucified on either side of jesus one went to hell the other went to heaven now you have their choice to make choose wisely and uh i want to remind every one of you that that every one of you have been a blessing to, to us in this ministry and and we couldn't we couldn't do what we do with without all the, no. mailing out all the bibles and without your support Amen. and your love and your prayers we love you. and we, we want to remind you that if the holy spirit puts it in your heart to support this ministry all we ask is that you obey the holy spirit do we have any prayer requests i do you're not ready well <laughs> okay Tony and I welcome you today, and we love you all, and we keep you all in our prayers. Tony, Tony and I welcome you to all today, and we love you all, and we keep you all in our prayers. Please pray for everyone in the Netherlands, New Zealand, Brazil, Germany, Poland, Sweden, India, Budapest, Hungary, Queensland and Melbourne, Australia, England, South, South Africa, Japan, Chile, and the Philippines, and all around the world. Prayers for the lost, and please keep in prayer for Israel. Please keep in prayer for Israel. Please keep in prayers Gary Gator, he goes by Gator, in the hospital. He has pneumonia. Please keep his family in prayers. But I've been praying really hard for their family and for Gary. He's on oxygen, and... um, God bless him. Please pray for Robin in Texas. Robin has an illness that drains her energy. She's so isolated and she has no family uh, left alive. She needs prayer for God-loving, God-fearing fellowship, compassionate friends. Also, thank you, Jesus, for answered prayers for SSDI. It was approved, but it's still in the processing process. Also, if there's anyone that lives... Uh, Austin, Austin I'm sorry, Austin, Texas, uh, that would like fellowship, um, contact us and, and we will see if we can not get you together with, with uh, Robin. Robin. Please pray for Cheryl and Gerald for better finances and for God's guidance over, um, over their lives and things that have been going on. 
Gerald's hernia operation is today. Please keep him in prayer and for a quick recovery. Prayers for their daughters, Chrysla and Lacey, and Sandra and her children, and her unborn uh, little boy, Noah, to be born healthy. Prayers for Anissa and Claire's families that their husbands have found new jobs. Prayers for baby Jackson that he's totally healed. Mm -hmm. Please keep Donna Daniels in your prayers. She's seen an oral surgeon. Prayers for peace and God's guidance in that. Please keep Kimberly Ann in prayer for God's touch and to be pain free and for her adult children and grandchildren's salvation. God's guidance and prayers. For Dee in Australia, for God's touch, her health, and protection for her grandchildren. Prayers for God's blessings for Sammy Presswood and his wife and their daughter, Samantha, for their health, God's presence, and guidance. Prayers for Natalie and Kenny and children in California for God's healing, guidance, direction. Prayers for that Kenny has secured a new job. Sherry request prayers for her sons Austin and David. We have prayers for Stella in the Netherlands for God's presence, guidance, and protection. Thank you, Stella. God, be God bless you, Stella. God bless um, you. Gregory and his wife for God's touch and guidance and protection. Prayers for healing for Terry that she's recovering from the brain cancer surgery she had. James Motley for God's presence, guidance, and direction. God bless you, James. Um, bless and God's guidance, and please touch Rose, Dan Patch, Kathy Gonzalez, Junior, Klaus, Lena, Dan Harris, Misha, Edna Armstrong, Rose Bates, Melody, Helena Hendricks, Sharon, Rob Mills, Catherine, Debbie Klein, Kathleen Miller, Tammy Lawson, Rosanna, Karen Littleman, Littleton, sorry, Cliff, Catwoman, Melanie, Woodward, Claire, we love and we appreciate all of you and we keep you all in our prayers, everyone. We're going to take these to prayer and, and we invite you to pray along with us. And, and we, we, we want to pray for those that are named and we want to also pray for those that are unnamed mm -hmm. because there, there are a whole whole bunch of those that that are unnamed uh, but they still need prayer as well and the lost and, and israel yeah. and yes. israel. yes so we invite you to pray along with us yeah. blessed most merciful heavenly father lord i come before you humbly lord when lord we've called out these names before you lord those named and those unnamed because yes. the unnamed are just as important yes. as the names. Yes. yes oh lord we Thank pray God. we pray we yeah, beg lord. we plead and we pray for, for blessings, for healings. We pray for peace, for comfort, yes, for these Lord. that we've called out, those yes. named and unnamed, Lord. Yeah, and Lord, Lord, these are the last days. And the, the need is so great by so many, Lord. And the need, the need is so great by so many. And Satan is attacking everyone, right? Left, up, and down. He's, yes, he's, yes. Satan has even been attacking us, this home. I mean, oh, Lord. The, the, the attacks are just ramping up because Satan knows that his time is grow short. And so Satan is running to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. So, Lord, we just pray, we beg, we plead for protection. And we plead and we beg the blood of Jesus. Yes. Covers us, covers this home, and covers you and covers your home. And protects all of us, protects all of us from the, the evil one. And, Lord, we just pray, we pray, we pray for these that we've called out before you, Lord. That you heal them, that you touch them, that you, that you lift them up, Lord. That, that Lord, we just the need is so great. The need is so great, For and we pray, mind. and we beg we the blood of Jesus. Yes, we Lord. beg, we beg the blood of Jesus yes, over do. these that we've yes, named, Lord. both named and unnamed. We pray and we beg the blood of Jesus, touches them, touches them, Lord, and, and heals them and heals Comfort. them. Comfort. And we also stand on the Word of God, yes. John fourteen yes. and fourteen. If you ask a thing in my name, I will do it. Yes, Lord. So Lord, we're standing on your word, yes, Lord. We are. We're standing yes, on we your are. word, Lord. Please, because Lord. we believe in you, Lord. We believe Please. every word is truth from the King James Bible. We believe it as truth, Lord. Amen. And we're standing Amen. on your word, Lord. We're standing on your word, we Lord. We depend on you, And Lord. we give you all the praise. All the praise. All, all the, the glory. glory. All, all the, honor, the honor. All the worship forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' Jesus mighty, Amen. mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
Oh Lord. Oh Lord. The need is so great in these last days. And it's not just me, not just us, it's not no, just it's our everybody. home that's being attacked. I mean, every, everybody, everybody's being attacked. And, and you know, when, when, when I was being attacked, I, I, I got mad, I got upset, I, I have to admit. And, you know, and I was looking right, I was looking left, I, you know, I, but the one direction that I looked last, and I, which I should have looked first, was I should have looked up. Yes. So... Please that keep that happens. in mind when when you're when you're being attacked. When you're being attacked, pray. Pray the blood of Jesus. Pray the blood of Jesus covers you, covers your home, covers your your situation, and and protects you, protects you from all evil. We were reminded because of the that. blood of Jesus is very oh, powerful, yes. very yes. powerful. Yes. So we just we love you also we very love much. You so much. We love you so much, and we keep all of you in our prayers. Yes. So God bless you and God, God keep you in yours you. in His loving arms, just like He held me. Just like you help me. Because I do all that I do to get back into those loving arms where I was before and where I will be again, where I belong and where you belong as well. God bless you. God keep you. Amen.